when I first went into the facility, it was going to be my first time seeing the project I had developed. I was a young scientist heading up this military project. Classified to the highest level was Project Eden. I dressed in standard army gear not to draw attention to myself among the base. This was a secret meeting after all and we didn't want anyone thinking twice about it. That's when I saw him for the first time. The Surgeon General. He looked like some sort of freak. Something you'd see in the movies. It made my skin crawl. So much time underground was bound to make any man look like an eyesore. As he took me to the subject's room, we passed seven human heads impaled on pipes. It was horrifying to know the main doctor in charge found this to be some sort of decor. I knew many people were going to have to die to keep this project alive. It just looked so much different on paper. The door was open, and I seen a woman of such perfection. Man-made. She was astonishing. The perfect human if I ever saw one. A female version of Jesus was the word I remember going through the facility. <laughs> so many people wait for God and his wrath. If God is so vengeful, he will understand what we were doing. Or maybe he was the God who failed us. It was time for a new beginning. The time of religion and science to come together and breed within. That's when things took a drastic turn. Things looked so much better on paper. But as I seen the main surgery room, as it was shown to me, I felt my stomach ache. The pain and the smell was sickening. I wanted to puke. As the doctor showed me the other bodies of the men and women he killed for the vital parts of fluids needed to grow proper and healthy organs for the female, I could only imagine all the people who cried and screamed for their mothers to save them, for their god to show his face and pull them out of this hell. It fell on deaf ears. From the moment I entered this classified facility, my intentions and my work was finally shown to me with real flesh and real consequences. I couldn't believe what I allowed to happen. How was I the creator of this sick project? Where did I go wrong? As I sat alone, I pulled out Old Faithful, my gun. I needed time to think about phase two of this project. A male in which the perfect female would mate with. How many innocent lives would be painfully taken. This was a movement I realized I no longer wanted to be a part of. Earth may look like hell, but this project didn't look like a solution. It didn't look like heaven. As I held my gun, I knew I'd take it for one final mission. I had the blueprints on me that were needed for phase two on microfilm. That was my little secret. Another reason I was here. They were meant to be given to the Surgeon General. I can tell you they were just as good as the blueprints for the female. A perfect Adam and Eve it was. I put the phase two microfilm in my mouth and I swallowed it. They were not going to get any more of my what I now know to be. Twisted work. That will be the very last time I will buy some.